You won't get hurt. Okay, no, I won't. Roller <laughs> derby is the fastest growing sport in the world. The Omaha Roller Girls, they've been uh, around for about 10 years now. I think their influence just keeps exploding. And it's not too late to join the party. The season opener is coming up Saturday. It is, and your chance to check it out if you're late to this party. Here to give us a lesson in the game, home sweet homes, Rylan Gottesling and Major Duties, <laughs> otherwise known as JC, uh, Ellen, Dave. Thanks for stopping in, guys. So the big game's coming up, right? The big match? We yeah. call it the games or matches. What do we call it? About. 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 It's about. It's, it's about. about to go down. Uh, so yes. it's, go, it's going down Saturday, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. You guys excited for the new season? Super excited, yes. Well, tell us about, let's, let's take, kind of dive back 10 years, right? How did this hall get started in Omaha, the Roller Girls, and, and, and where, how you've gotten to this point? Well, I think a few girls just started putting a league together. And we still have a few of those in our league. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we had Sharon Misery and Molly Sherry Massacre. Hartman and Molly Massacre. They're, they started the league out and- Not their keep... real names, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> right? I think I said one real name. Okay, you said one real name in there. <laughs> I mixed and matched. Um, but they started out and then we got a practice space and then we've just been playing ever since and growing. Well, and you say growing too, because people may have noticed that Dave here, or Major Duties, he's number two, by the way, um, is not a roller girl. So we have roller bros now. Well, so I've been trying to figure out why you're here, Dave. What's he doing here? <laughs> just to, just to, to look, look pretty. Right. Exactly. Exactly. My only job here is to look pretty and it's support the, them. It's the sex appeal. Does. No, that's, that's why I'm here too. But no, how, why would you get involved with this? Um, I actually started dating one of the Omaha Roller Girls several years ago. And at one of their games, I watched and said, this looks really fun. I want to do that. And I found out at that point that there was a men's team in Omaha. And I bought my gear, and the rest is history. Yeah, you're on the men's team, though. Yes. Yeah, you're not, you're not going head-to-head -head against the girls. We do co you guys, scrimmage. You, you we scrimmage we train stuff? with and the roller girls. who wins those bouts? Um, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> I had a feeling I knew the answer. So we've got the ladies addressed. We've got the guys. And you guys have even expanded to juniors. Yes. So how can people get involved in that if they've got kids that are interested? What ages and what do they do? So the juniors, um, they're going to be starting recruitment again for the August season. They have a competitive side and then so they have bigs and littles. It's ages 8 to 18 and a lot of them actually foster out and come up to our league. Mm -hmm. um, and right now they're, they just had a game in Lincoln. Yep, they, they did really well with that. Yeah. yeah, and you continue to try to get people to come out to the roller because there's some people that just have not been out. 10 years you guys have been around and some people just have not been out to about. Yeah. Uh, and so what can fans expect? I mean, sell the fans on why they should come to see the Omaha Roller Girls or guys. <laughs> bros. 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 Roller bros. The bros. Well, we, we really cater to being family friendly. Uh, we have a lot of things that the kids can come do. We have like drawing tables where they can come color. There's our merch. We do a grenade toss so kids can get involved with that. Not an actual grenade. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah two little squishy grenades. <laughs> And we do, we have two games. So, I mean, if you're coming to an earlier game, you can get home in time to put your kids to bed, so. What are we looking at here in some of these pictures? Uh, because there's, there's a, a definite strategy to what you guys do. That's called an amoeba slash campfire sometimes. Well, so explain what we're seeing. So you got uh, the, the teammates in green, right? Yep, and that's Omaha. And we're playing Sioux City. And she has a star on her helmet, so she is the jammer. So mm -hmm. she is trying to get her hips by the three green blockers. And when she does, she'll score point for every blocker she passes. So let's talk a little bit about strategy here, because you guys have come, we've heard about the jammers, and we know that there's somebody with a star on their helmet. What are the basic rules? Like if people come out to the game, what should they be looking for? So we have four blockers from uh -huh. each team, and they'll go line up, and then there'll be two jammers from each team, and they'll each have a star on their helmet. Um, and then they blow the whistle, and then the two jammers fight through the eight blockers, and once they get out, it'll be lead jam. So whoever got lead, out first gets the lead jammer and she'll come around and when she's coming around she'll score points for every hip she passes. Hmm. So she wants then to fight through the wall of opposing blockers to score. What do you consider passing hip? Your hips have to be past the other hips? Yeah. yeah. Like, so hip to hip? A lot of people so here. they'll like do one of those So she things. scored a point. Oh, so they scored a point. Yeah. So yeah, she just has to come right, right there. Yep. Yep. So are the jammers the best players? Or are they the fastest? What does it take to make a good jammer? I've been Maybe the quickest on their feet because uh -huh. they can juke back and forth. Is the jammer like the quarterback? Or a running, running back. back. Running, or running jammers back. are running back. They have the rock. Yeah. They're the ones that yeah. they're going to score. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So how many games do you have coming up, uh, bouts do you have coming up this season? <laughs> and do you have any special, uh, like, theme nights, any promotional nights? Yes, we have four coming up. Um, the um, April 22nd, so that's the first one. Yep. That is alumni night. So any past players or anybody comes in, 
That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And on. then um, April 29th is our family Star Wars night. And we have dollar hot dogs and dollar beers for nice. the first hour. And then we have the Star Wars characters mm -hmm. from the 501. The bad guys will be there. Nice. Um, you can take pictures mm -hmm. and interact with them. And then May 13th is our um, service night. Um, and that's fire, military, police, get a buy one, get one free ticket. And then June 17th is our administrators' teachers night. So they can get a buy one, get one free ticket. And we've got it at the top of the screen. You can go to your website yeah. as well. Uh, and that website is? OmahaRollerGirls.org. Dot org. Uh, adults $12, kids are 6 bucks. Uh, you notice the distance between us? I mean, we've got this much between you and me, and I've got <laughs> Kayla in the middle. Right. Because every time they come on, they... they you hurt me somehow. So well, keep well my maybe distance. take Mike out to no. the hall and you can jump over him in the commercial break. We'll yeah, see last time you here, you jumped over me, right? Yeah, yeah. sure did. One it was pretty impressive. Time. We'll do that next time. We'll set that up. I'll get in touch. Stay away from me. Thank you, ladies and bro. Yeah. So yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Uh, okay.